Okay, see the seconds are saying full now. So ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gents. Look, I'm sorry, we have a problem, everyone. This <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I gotta laugh because it's it's important that I laugh. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna tell all of you this is the the guide to the original issue discount instruments. Pay attention. <laughs> I told you that. The instructions and procedures are right there for you. This is publication 1212. People, what's happening? <laughs> and it is hilarious. Why? Because my, and I don't know this individual personally. This is Gene Keaton. Okay, Gene, what's up, my brother? Ladies and gentlemen, y'all have heard me talk about Gene. Gene Keaton is going to be explaining to y'all about the original issue discount. Gene Keaton. Okay, give me a second. I'm looking for the actual video, the original. I'm not doing all that, that freedom stuff. We're, we're not talking. He, he talks about some patriot movement and all that stuff. I don't care about no movements of patriots. Okay, but this is talk shoe radio and all of that stuff. Gene Keaton on court cases in 10990 ID. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for the actual YouTube. Gene, where's your YouTube video? Because I got your YouTube video up. Dag nabbit. I got his video up because this is the download of the video. So let's do Gene Keaton Legacy Class number 10. Okay? That's where we're going to go. And it's a YouTube thing. This was Moby Rise. I needed Moby Rise, but we're going to do Gene. Okay? J E A N K E A T. 1099 OID, I want the legacy class, okay? Pay attention, pay attention, Gene Keaton, legacy class. It's this one right here, right here, this one right here. All right, I want y'all to click on it. I want y'all to go, it's three hours long, Gene Keaton can talk like I can, okay? Please understand, initially, originally, what I learned, when I learned, how I learned, it was from people who got information from Gene and other people like Gene from the era that Gene came from, okay? He says he's been around for 50 years doing this. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you I've been going over law in the courts for more than 30 years. I don't joke about that. Like I said, I had no other choice. I had my driver's license at the age of 15, had to go and handle my first traffic ticket by myself, so I had to go and look at the law myself. But pay attention. Before I went and looked at the law, see back then we had to go to driving school and we had to go to driving classes. Now, I got my license before they had driving classes. But I actually went to the California driving school. I paid to go to the California driving school. And I went there on the bus, arriving there well ahead of time, getting in a car and driving and went to the DMV and took the test. And I believe at the time when I did this, I believe that I used an automobile from the driving school to take the test. I believe they allowed us to do that back then. Or I really don't remember. I've taken so many driving tests with the DMV in the past that I don't remember. But anyway, I had to go over the rules. I had to go over the pamphlet. I had to, and my rule was I had to go over the information. Remember, I told you, Maxine Waters, when I got my first job, which was shortly, no, I got my first job, my father was still alive. So Maxine Waters is the one who helped me understand that when you go over, get out of here, when you go over information, 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 information for a job, you ask them for their policies and procedures. And you go over those policies and procedures. That's what she taught us. So I was always going over policies and procedures. Got my first job at 15 with Maxine Waters. Okay. Going over policies and procedures. And so I had already had some other information prior. Gene Keaton was one of those individuals that helped me go over that information. I want y'all to listen to what Gene has to say. Hold on. This has been going on since 1933, and nobody understands it because they keep trying to pay debts that are prepaid. 
because people don't understand the OID process. Ladies and gentlemen, he goes over this with you, but the fact is, I like Gene. Gene, that's my, yeah, that's my, that, that's my N-I-G-G, -G, crooked letter, crooked letter, crooked letter, A. Understand something about Gene. He is going to tell you guys something. He's going to explain, and then he's going to spell a word. Okay, Key Sweat used this word. I want your body. I want to hold you. I want to die. Anyway, he's going to explain the word that Key Sweat was trying to explain to y'all in that song. I can't say the name of that song because he's going to say the name of that song. Watch, watch him. Jing. So I'm going to go over this, and I keep going over this, because this is at the crux of everybody's problem. I don't care if you're in a criminal case, you're in a civil case, it's a tax case. And if you don't understand what a tax is, you don't understand what's going on. And everybody I talk to says, oh yeah, I understand what a tax is, and I start asking them questions and they can't answer them. That means they don't understand what taxes are. It's not a tax until you do an assessment. You have to assess the tax. Why do you have to assess the tax? Because you own the credit that the government chooses. Did you hear him? He says you owe the credit. Now, I, I, I understand what he's saying. Okay, I understand what he's saying, because remember, the full faith and credit comes from you. The obligation is a U.S. obligation. The U.S. gets all of its credit and full faith from the people. Okay, you just got to understand that the credit comes from you. That's the reason why they made a deal, the new deal, and they allowed it to be an obligation of the United States. But listen to what he you says. You are next. the owner of the credit. You are the creditor in fact. That's why the government, every time they use your credit, has to give you an OID identifying you as the payor and themselves as the recipient of the funds. Does everybody understand that? You can't get much simpler than that. Go read the OID. Go read the OID. He said go read the OID publication. Please, you know, I haven't read the OID publication, but I promise you I'll be reading the OID publication now. I promise you I'll be reading the OID publication now. I promise you I'll be following the steps of the OID publication. Why? Because it's in addition to the general instructions that I talked about on the last video. Hold on, Gene. Publication. Go read publication 1212. Hold on. Publication 1212. Now I got to go back to that. I think it wasn't there. It wasn't there. It was was it here? Yeah, it was here. Publication 1212. Now he's going to tell you to go to page number six. It's not on page number six. It's on page seven. Okay. It's on page, is it page seven or page six? Hold on. It is page six. Hold on. Where you at? Wait, no, that's examples. We don't want to see examples or samples. It's the same information I was just talking about on the last video. It's on page seven. Okay. It's on page seven. This is where he's going to be reading. This is where y'all got to start reading. Y'all, y'all got to take your little anuses and go read this. Go read it. I don't want to hear it. Go read it. Because Gene going to tell y'all what y'all need to do. Gene, tell him. Oh, sorry. One person in the Patriot community has ever read publication 1212. Not one person. I'm going to take you in there and explain it to you me. So that everybody can understand it. you got to understand that you, you're all, everybody's looking for a remedy. You can't get a remedy until you understand what's going on. you got to understand what's going on or you can't get no remedy. Tell them, Gene. That's why God invented me. <laughs> now, doesn't he remind you of somebody? He says you can't get a remedy until you understand what's going on. Everybody's looking for a remedy. He said, that's why God invented me. Did, did you hear what he said? He said, that's why God invented him. Thank you, Gene. I'm going to explain to you. I've been studying this stuff for 50 years. And I'm going to prove to you right now what's going on. And then I've got a document. We're going to add page six. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. He said he was going to prove it 
Then he was going to document it. You see, I'm not the only one. It's just that there's nobody else out there doing this. Nobody else out there showing you, documenting it, pointing it out to you. Okay? And I mentioned in the last video that you are not supposed to be the nominee, but pay attention. Watch what he says. Let's make Nobody read and read this publication. Now, he's going to explain that word to you I just told you all about. That word that you won't even understand, but hold on. And then you're going to see that. That reminds me of somebody who does these videos on YouTube. Hold on. Nobody. N-O-B-O-D-Y. Nobody reads this publication. Nobody. Nobody. I want your body. Nobody. I want to love you. Nobody. Key sweat. Nobody, nobody reads this publication. You haven't read it. And those of you who went to jail regarding 1099 OID, it's because you didn't follow the procedure. If you're trying to do the OID, you should be looking at the general instructions and publication 1212. And by the way, the general instructions refer you to publication 1212. It's just, I was in law school at the time, and I didn't have access to publication 1212. That's why I didn't go over publication 1212. But I promise you, I'll be going over publication 1212 now. Pay attention. Generally, you report your taxable interest and OID income on the interest line of forms 1040 easy and 1040 A, I, I, U, and 1040. That's what you do. You report your interest on those lines. That's generally. But see, you guys, you need to understand if you did a 1040 and you didn't report that interest and then you're doing a 1099 and you're reporting it differently, do you understand you're doing that under the penalty of perjury, swearing that that is true and correct? And then you're doing the 1099. Okay, just, just to point that out. Hold on. This tells you what is going on. There's one paragraph in this document that gives you the whole key to the this whole redemption about. process. And I'm going to show you what it is. And nobody knows this even exists. Go down to the bottom of page six. See, doesn't it remind you of somebody having to look at videos? Download publication 1212 off the IRS website. Follow along with me and you'll learn what's going on. Oh, wait, hold on. Pay attention. This is what I was telling you guys about before, and nobody has been paying attention to me. See the discussion under bonds sold between interest dates in the chapter publication 550. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you're doing 1099. 1099 involves interest. You're reporting the wrong interest. You're reporting the wrong amounts. That's why a lot of people are getting in trouble because they don't have the information from the securitization trustee who is either referred to in some atmospheres as the middleman or the uh what's that other one daggy baggy 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 nominee but the middleman okay so let's go ahead and go back to gene gene nominee this is what's going on nominee what doing? see they're doing a nominee for the true owner, which is you. If you are the holder of an OID, original issue discount debt instrument, and you receive a form 1099... Wait, 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 wait. Did y'all see that? Debt instrument. You guys are not getting it, are you? The 1099 OID is a debt instrument. Now hold on. OID that shows your taxpayer identification number and, and, and includes amounts belonging to another person, you are considered a nominee. 
So you are considered a nominee. If it shows your taxpayer identification number, you are considered a nominee. Now hold on. Well, what are those amounts belonging to another person? That's the amount of the bill that all these corporations were sending you. Every Claiming you owe money. Okay. It says you must file another form 1099 OID for each actual owner of those bills. Showing the OID for the owner. Show the owner of the debt instrument as the recipient and you as the payor. These are the instructions, ladies and gentlemen. Follow the instructions. You are the nominee and you have to file as a nominee according to the instructions. But no, 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 no. Go over the whole thing. I would even take the time to listen to Gene Keaton. I would even have this form pulled up because he's going to take you along the rabbit hole. Okay? And I assure you, I will be going over this form because I will be doing the 1099 OID on the mortgages I just showed you. I, I joke with you not. I kid you not. Why am I going to do that when all the other people have been getting in trouble for doing 1099 OIDs? Because I'm going to follow the instructions. And I'm going to let them know what my intent is. You see, what you guys don't understand, I did an IRS letter of intent explaining why I'm doing the OID. I had an individual who went and he got one of those groups that were doing the OID because they thought they knew what they were doing. See, see, however, pay attention right here. I just saw this debt instrument not on the OID list. Pay attention. Debt instrument not on the OID list. OID is a debt instrument. The person is claiming you owe a debt. The problem is you guys are asking for more back than what's being claimed on the debt. Attach the bill to the OID, people, with the pay attention with the recipient's name on it. But I am not telling you how to do it because I haven't done it yet. I have to go over the rules. But I'm reading this stuff and I can, am I going to do a video? No, I'm not going to do a video. Why are you not going to do a video? Because he did it already. For the use of your credit. And they're reporting it on a, on a tax statement. Now, wait, hold they're on. Using hold on, Gene. Hold on. Man, God, you talk too much. Sorry, that's Gene Keaton, y'all. And I has a lot of respect for Gene Keaton. If you guys have known since I've been doing videos, I've been talking about Gene Keaton. Okay? There have been a lot of people who have been trying to come behind Gene Keaton and match what he has done. Take a look at this paragraph. You see nominee, you see payor, you see the owner of the debt instrument as the recipient, the owner of the debt instrument as the recipient, and you as the payer. Do you see it's the exact same paragraph with the exact same words? However, the paragraph is reshaped. Why? Because I believe there have been some words added. Let's see, taxpayer number and include amounts belonging to another person. You are the nominee. You must file the form 1099 OID. No, it's the exact same words, people. Showing the OID. Okay. It's the exact same words, exact same paragraph as I told you. If you pay attention, they let you know what's new on the first page, as I showed you in the last video. Right here, they're going to tell you what's new. Where's my what's new? What's new? What's new? What's new? Where is it at? I don't see what's new. I know it's on the, oh, no, 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 no. They do that on the other form. Future developments. For the latest developments in publication 1212, Okay, introduction. Okay, they gonna tell you if there's been any changes from the previous one. Okay, they let you know. They give you under understandings. They even let you know about remix. If your property is part of a real estate mortgage investment conduit remix, then the 1099 OID process follows through collateral debt obligation pay attention yours is a cdo and it deals with interest 
But you people have been trying to file 1099 OIDs and you don't know the interest. That's what you're getting in trouble for. Other collateralized debt obligations. Remember, all obligations are United States obligations. They're government obligation, and this is an official government obligation. You have the right to discharge that government obligation. You just have to do it right. And you people, you were doing it under penalty of perjury, and I promise you they used the technicality because you didn't go over the rules. Well, I went over those basic rules. Oh, look at that. Information for brokers and other middlemen. Well, isn't the securitization trustee the middleman the broker? How do you know that? Because I went over the general rules. Okay? You people haven't. So you're going to need to go over this. Now, watch this. Hold on. I got to go to my browser. And I want to do y'all a favor. I'm going to show y'all how to do this because some of y'all, y'all just, y'all just don't know. Wait a minute. I got two different things I can do. Well, I've already saved it. Let me see if I, if I can find it. I saved it. Publication 212. Let's go ahead and see if we can rename this. I'm the farmer of the bill. Can't rename it because I clicked on it. Dag nabbit. There is something else I get to do. Watch this. We get to open up this thing right here. This is called Natural Reader, version 11. Version 14? Version 14, if you download the one that comes where you get the, the serial number and they send it to you and you don't buy it, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is shut off if you're connected to the internet when you launch it. So you have to disconnect from the internet with version 14 and then launch it. And once it's completely launched, in other words, once the window pulls up, then and only then can you go back to the internet. It, you, don't, you won't have a problem then at that point. Now watch this. Watch this. Watch what I just did. Natural Reader allows me to it won't let me do it. I thought I could drag and drop, but it won't let me drag and drop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going, do you want to save the file? No, I don't want to save that file. I do want to drag and drop. I should be able to drag and drop, but we're going to go to my documents. It went to the wrong folder, y'all. See, it went to the wrong folder. We got to go to, yes, I got so many hard drives on my hard drive that it's a hard drive. <laughs> Oh God, he said hard drive. <laughs> I don't think it's going to let me do PDFs. I think that's what the 14, version number 14 is. <laughs> I got to install version number 14. <laughs> anyway, give me a second. I'm going to do that real quick and then I'm going to. Okay, took my time. Went and downloaded Natural Reader number 15. But I took my time doing it, so I apologize. This is publication number Two, uh, twelve, twelve. Okay, and so I brought Dave. We got Dave right here. His voice number two, but it says it's taking a little while to to put together. I, I did bring it in. See, it says publication two twenty, but it, it, I think it's having a problem. So y'all just give it a second. There we go. The publication is there. So I did the play button, but I don't think it wants to play. So we're on page two. Let's see. The list of publicly offered OID debt instruments, OID list, is on the IRS website. The original issue discount tables, sections IA through IIIF, are only available on the IRS website at irs.gov slash pub1212 by clicking the link under recent developments. The tables are posted to the website in late November or early December of each year. The information on these lists comes from the issuers of the debt instruments and from financial publications and is updated annually. However, see debt instruments. Ladies and gentlemen, I only did this, and yes, I took my time doing it because I'm in the middle of eating. Yes, I haven't had breakfast this morning, and it's 121, and I'm just now eating for the first time today. <laughs> anyway, I put this out here so that those of you who don't like reading, you don't want to go through everything. All you do is sit back and listen. And you want to.
pay attention to key words, especially the word debt instrument. Now remember, they have made it illegal for any obligee to claim a debt. So what did Gene Keaton tell you guys in the video? He tells you that it is not a debt, it's actually a credit. Did you hear him? He said it's actually a credit. Yes, that's right. They just call it a debt. It doesn't mean that it's actually a debt because there is no debt. And I do agree with the old timers who've been doing this for years that all debts are prepaid. It's already been paid. That's the deal. That was the agreement. That was the arrangement. You don't have to shout the arrangement. People, you don't hear me shouting and saying, it's prepaid. It's prepaid. It's There's no reason to be shouting that. Say, we're still in a banking holiday. You don't have a right to do that. Here, I give you authorization to take care of this by taking it to the government and getting this obligation, government obligation, this charge. 445 form. That is only a principal form. I'm not saying that that's the form that you use for everything. I'm saying you use it in principle. You let them know that if there is another procedure, if there's another process by which this may be resolved, taken care of, this charge, inform me of that process, give me the instructions for the procedure in layman's terms. But until such time, this is the way I'm going to be doing it. Because it complies with the law and it complies with my wishes as the grantor and the creditor. Remember, Jane was correct. You are the creditor. As far as the IRS paperwork, they have their definitions for certain people. Again, nominee and or creditor. Same thing. The words don't mean what they mean. That's why they say the feminine can have the meaning of the masculine, the masculine can have the meaning of the feminine. They use words that formulate distraction. So you have to do your research. Do not go off of what people are saying on video. You have to go off of what the actual document, the intent behind the act was. Congressional intent is everything, 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 ever, 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 everything. Okay. Just the facts. Only the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. Got to go with the facts, y'all. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I am going to leave this. I am somebody. I'm going to be leaving this in here. It didn't bring in the picture. That's the thing why that page is blank. It didn't bring in the picture. It should have brought in the picture. You guys know how pictures are. They, they're, they're, they're not worth a thousand words because what's a word worth? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can go to a wordsmith and not get anything done at all. So it's not worth a thousand words. Okay. Oh, a picture's worth nothing because a thousand words is worth nothing. It's like a thousand dollars. It's only worth a dollar. And one penny is only worth a dollar. That's what they are saying. I, I get it now. Not on the oil list. Later. Brokers and other middlemen. So I agree. Later. So have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.